I asked and you guys had opinions. So, today, we get to build our aqueduct coming into the village. I am currently smelting up some stone because apparently all I have is cobblestone right now, so that... That's a process. But, I also seem to have some villagers with, uh, broken AIs here. One of these guys has been sleeping, but the other two are just standing here. Uh, I added a composter for the uh, farmer whose job was stolen, but this guy is the only one working, so... Also, it's my little doggo's second birthday today. This is what she looks like. Except normally she doesn't look that pretty and elegant. She normally looks a little bit more like this. Anyways, wish her a happy birthday down in the comments. Since we're not spending much time in our hole anymore, I've decided to start planting some crops around in this area so that we have those for villager trading and just, yeah, I think they're going to make the area start looking a little bit more ni nice and like, I don't know, polished, I guess. Okay, I have done some maths and figured out exactly where our aqueduct is starting, which is right here. I don't know about you, but I am ready to get building on this thing. I've been gathering materials for far too long today, and I'm ready to get building. Let's go! Okay, well that was a lot. My back hurts quite a bit. It's fine. It's all good. Um, but we have an aqueduct bringing water into our town from a spring in the hills above it. I have been noticing that the farmer AIs just aren't working right. Um, this guy was standing still inside for quite a while. Now he's just standing still outside. So that's exciting. If anybody has tips for that, please do let me know. Yeah. So these guys, they're, I, I'm trying to give this guy a, a block and I've been leaving it in here, a composter, to like be able to refresh his trades and things. Um, but another guy came along and stole that. And I'm just not sure what's going on. But anyways, this guy it is our like most recent farmer. And now he's just standing still and frozen too. But for now, I think I'm ready for an adventure. And by adventure, I do of course mean that we're going down into the nether. Oh, that's an enderman right there. Incredible. Let's see, we can go down farther this way, I believe. Okay, here we are at level 15. I have packed a number of items, including powdered snow, fire resist potions, and a bunch of RTNT left over from working on an overworld ice road, which we have abandoned because another ice road is much faster. Oh gosh, there's lava already. Dang. Well, let's start off in this direction then. How about that? Now, I've done a little bit of uh, ancient debris mining with my husband, and the way he does it is a big old strip, and then you place TNT down, and then you ignite it and trigger, you know, an explosion. A chain, chain explosion. So I think we put three blocks between each three so that they all explode each other probably should have brought a shield it's fine all right we ignite it we run away a little bit and it still hit us dang all right <gasps> do you see all these ancient debris oh my gosh this is awesome Oh my gosh, this is three right in this one chunk here. Anyways, I think I'm going to keep going. 
and I'll see you on the other side. And we made it home, and I hear zombies, and they're annoying me. Ah, well. So we went through two stacks of TNT and found 20 ancient debris. I'm proud of that. We still do have the two that we found up at, like, level 65. Why 65? In here, I'm thinking we need to make a shrine for things like our first ancient debris and our first ender pearl. I'm, I'm still very proud of that one. And of course, the dragon egg, among other things. We also came away with some goodies like almost two shulker boxes of nether rack, which we'll use to make nether brick because I definitely want to use that in one or two upcoming projects. And then I cleaned out a vein of magma blocks and we got so much quartz. I didn't even grab all the quartz ore that I saw and gold. And I picked up some black stone, which is fun, and gravel, which I always like having on hand for making concrete. Now, I think, let's smelt up this ancient debris. And there it is. Our netherite scraps are all smelted up. And now we have new recipes unlocked. All right. It's four of each, right, to make the make the ingots. Like that? <gasps> Guys. I've got the whole world in my hands. No, that's stupid. But look at them, they're beautiful! Now, there's two things I need before I can use these. One is a smithing table, which we can make up right now. And the other is a few more mending books. I do want to put netherite on my silk touch pick here and on my um, sword. But the rest I want on the armor pieces that I wear frequently. However, none of my armor pieces have mending on them yet, and I want to make sure that they have mending on them. I like the enchants that I have on both my boots and my helmet, but they both still need mending. So for the moment, we will put our netherite on my diamond silk touch pickaxe. And on my sword. Just look at me now. So I guess the next thing we need to do is grab mending books. Which means we're going to need to head back over to our farming area. Okay, I would love to know. And this isn't a question for you guys. I just straight up don't know. Where I put my other ender chest. Because I stuck my netherite ingots in the ender chest up at our cabin. But I have another one. Somewhere. And it should be here. Somewhere. Oh my gosh. I remembered. I think we're going to go make ourselves another one. Okay, that was so much more complicated than it needed to be. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we have an ender chest over here now. Is it true that they only break with a silk touch pick? Because I've heard that. I don't actually know if it's true and I've never tried anything else. Let me know in the comments, I guess. <laughs> Guys, please help. I don't want to kill them and have to trade up new villagers oh my gosh is there anything i can do to save them i'm sorry my friend uh, this is terrifying who are you where'd you come from and why did you claim my 
current Fletcher's job. There is only the... Uh, rude. I think it's relatively safe to assume that that's enough emeralds to get a few more mending books. You think? Now we're here at the library. Let's see. Unbreaking three. We have that on all of our gear that we need to work on right now. Looting two. Um, mending here he is. All right. 32. Oh, and a... Mm. I'll be right back. Goodness. I want to say something along the lines of, I swear I'm not normally this disorganized, but I think we all know that's not the truest statement in the world. Mr. Mending? Mr. Mending. All right. Thank you. And we'll just... Hey, come back, come back. I, I still need more. Two and three. And I think that is all I need for my hat, my pants, and my boots. I do need higher protection. Hmm. Huh. Oh, we have Sweeping Edge. Well, I already have Sweeping Edge. Thank you. Okay, my friends. It's a moment I've been waiting for for a while. We will add our book with Depth Strider 3 and Mending. And unfortunately, our boots are projectile protection. Not the best, but you know, it's fine. And then to our leggings, we have Protection 3 and Mending. And to our helmet, we have protection three and mending, which puts both of our pants, both our pants and our helmet to protection four. And then, then we just step in here and start swinging. And that looks like our armor's all mended up. Which means we have one more task with these pieces of armor. And that is to add our netherite ingots. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys! <gasps> I have netherite armor. Oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how proud I am right now. This looks awesome. I love the detailing on the netherite armor. I, I've, of course, seen other people wearing it. A lot of people on Vervain's Arcadia have netherite armor. And it looks really cool. I'm so happy to have this. I still, of course, need a chest plate, but since I generally wear my wings we'll worry about that later but I won't get the cover me and debris advancement I think until I get that chest plate but this is a great start five netherite pieces of gear today <sighs> I'm feeling much better about things so from here what do we need then we need a shovel an axe and a chest plate and maybe a hoe. So that's what, four more ingots that I need? I think I think we can make that happen later. Cause I think I'm gonna put netherite on all of my silk touch gear, but maybe not worry too hard about my fortune gear. We can leave that diamonds. Okay, that was mildly more successful. The last thing we're doing here is a cactus farm. Okay, so the idea behind cactus farms is that um, when there's a block next to them, they, they break. 
That's going to be an issue, isn't it? Perfect. I think... <clears throat> I think the water is flowing in all the right directions to take all of the cactus straight down. Almost all of it. We might end up catching a few in there. But that's not the end of the world. I'm okay with that. This is a really tiny one. We only have 12 cactus in here. I don't foresee myself needing a ton of green dye, but I do have one project planned in the hopefully near future that's going to take quite a bit of green dye, but that's, that's about all I have planned for that. Oh, he's standing in the garden now. At least he moved? I don't know if this is good or bad. My gosh. You know, while I was building this village, there were cats everywhere. And now I can't find a single one. <gasps> Kitty! Hi! Oh, yeah! Look at the little dog! Yeah! Oh! Such a pretty kitty! I love... I... I, I am a cat person. And I love cute cat voices. What can I say? I think the lesson that we've learned today is that I need more lapis. Which is good since I'm planning on doing some extensive mine work. The other lesson is that this village still needs quite a bit of work as far as sorting these dudes out. And their beds and their workstations. Maybe it's just a me thing, but I think cats should be able to jump at least one and a half blocks in Minecraft. Not get stuck inside a pen. Oh, there's another kitty over there. It's another Siamese. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, s I am pretty sure that... The cat up at our cabin is a Siamese as well. Do I ever get any other color of cat? Hey, hey, baby. Hey, baby. It's okay. Shh. You're okay. Hey, baby. Can I give you some fish? Are you interested in some fish? Yeah. I, I, I love all of the kitties, including all the Siamese kitties, but I wouldn't like another, another color of kitty. I feel like that would be, you know, something nice. I think you get an achievement for taming all the different colors of cats. Oh, two of them are sleeping. That's good. I'm going to steal this bed real quick. Oh, kitties, the kitties. Oh my gosh, they're too cute. I can't handle it. Okay, but wandering around this village with my kitties is incredibly peaceful. There's another kitty. It's a white one this time, I think. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hi. Do you want some fish? Hey, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. Oh, look at you. Oh, you've got such pretty yellow eyes. Oh, you're precious. Yes, you are. Yep, I'm obsessed with having Minecraft kitties. Okay, pretty kitties. Let's make a cute little kitty. Oh, come back. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi, you, and you! Go make babies. Oh, the purrs. Wait, I'm sorry. Kitten? Baby? <gasps> yes! Oh, baby kitten! <gasps> Look at the baby! Oh my gosh! Oh, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't handle it. 
anyways, I'm sure I'll be bringing home many more kitties over the next few episodes because I'm, I'm kind of obsessed right now. We didn't do a ton, but it was short and sweet, and I hope you enjoyed it. We got ourselves all geared out, and I think I'm ready to take on another boss. Can you guess which one I'm planning to go for next episode? Also, seriously, if you have any suggestions on these farmers and their broken AI, I would love to hear it. I don't really know much about, you know, that, that area of things. So I would love any help you can give me. Give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!